Hey everyone, I'm Jerusha and you're watching Jerusha Couture TV. This is going to be hard. Get your life. Truthfully, it is like a hundred degrees in this room right now. I have a massive softbox on me. I'm sorry, but I have to keep the windows open. You're going to hear cicadas and wind and the fan has to be on as well. The door has to be open. Literally everything that is not sound friendly has to be happening in this video because I am dying. Can't handle it. Life is over. When I say the temperature here in Australia as well, it's degrees Celsius. Some people are like, she says these temperatures, are that's not even hot. And I'm like, yeah, that's not Fahrenheit, Celsius. Like 32, get your life. I can't live in this kind of heat. Ah! So, just in. If you watched my vlog, which was my last video, you would have heard me saying at the end that I'm going to sit down after it and film this. And this will be, you're watching this a couple of days after. This is the haul from that vlog you just saw, which was actually really quite good. In the end, we had a really fun time. We had some lunch. You saw on the vlog, mum was having so much fun with me. And yeah, so as I said, Boxing Day, which mum's saying is all around the world, but I thought it was just kind of more British colony places. But Boxing Day is the day after Christmas, and it's when things go on sale, blah, blah, blah. That's why there's so many hauls. In Australia, it goes on forever. It goes on for like a month here. They just keep it rolling until they probably sell everything discounted. Truth. So the first place we hit, there were a few deals in this haul from Lush. And the main reason I kind of went crazy is because that one I did do that time I did like it mm, but I'm not gonna lie the honey caramel smell kind of got to me after a while I still have a few and I'm not that fond creamy candy bubble bar so let's take a look at this guy maybe will we look at all of them oh this is gonna be a long video maybe we will try to hurry through it so it's not Oh yeah, I got two of these. Creamy candy bubble bar. Okay, I got two of these because they smell unbelievable and it's a bubble bar. So these were the difference. You break these off the bubble bars and like you just snap a bit off and you run it under the water and it will create bubbles in your bath as well. So there was two of those creamy candy bubble bar. I got another one of those just because they were nice, but I might give that to my sister-in-law. She will like that too. Think Pink Mini Bath Bombs. I got two of these as well and they were on sale. Uh, the little, the bath bar, uh, the bubble bars were $8.50 each. These are so expensive. They're really delicious and amazing, but they're so expensive. So maybe you do a lush haul, you know, every now and then. Um, so I got two of these and these are so cute. Oh my god, they're breaking everywhere. They're just bright pink. They've got little flowers on the top. And with them, they're actual bath bombs, so they explode. I'm going to crack them in half so I get more use out of them, so they're not just one. This is a blackberry bath bomb. It's just blue. I need to show you. Um, butter bath bomb. This is white. Uh, Titsy Tossy bath bomb. And these all came in at six. And this was the most expensive. Yes, but I have to show you that, oh my god, I spent $10 on a bath bomb. That's just stupid. Stupid, actually. And this is a bubble, this one's a bubble bar. Yeah, okay, you break this one off and it makes bubble bath. So that's good, at least it's not one use for $10. It's a bit ridiculous. It's a bit ridiculous. And this is a green bubble bath, the green apple. So it smells like green apples and it's delicious. Where was the really pretty one I wanted to show you? Oh yeah, this is it. The, the one that's called Tissy Tossy. That was quite a, it's such a funny name. $6.75 Tissy Tossy Bath Bomb. So this is a bath bomb, but look how pretty this is. So pretty. Okay, so it's obviously rose. But it's white and it's got pot puree, like rosed pot puree stuck in the front of it. Isn't that just so pretty? So your entire bath will smell like an old lady's house. Pot puree. 
Yum. Okay, so next up, I did actually go into Bondi Junction Louis Vuitton. I did stop in there because I thought they would have the item I wanted. I didn't call beforehand, I just thought they would have the item. So I watched, I've been watching a few of her videos actually. Hi to my friend Handbag LVR, Handbag Lover. She's so, so gorgeous and her little girl is an absolute riot. She's so fabulous. I will link her channel below. But she got this item, she got this little accessory item and I saw it and I was like, that would be so handy for my keys. I'm always losing my keys. No, I don't latch them onto D-rings, into bags because that irritates me if I can't get them off. So this would be quite handy as well. And it's just handy to have. So I looked for this item. It wasn't in Bondi Junction. They didn't have it. But they said George Street had it. So I was like, great. Looked at mum and was like, you saw in the vlog, let's go to George Street. She's like, good, I'll drop you off because there's no parking. That's dead center of the city. Uh, so yeah, that. So I did go into Bondi Junction Louis Vuitton thinking I would get it, but I didn't. So obviously I went to the city which you saw in the vlog. But the next place after the Louis Vuitton that we did hit was Zara. I don't know why they have this stuff in like what looks to be like a trash can bag, but it is a Zara shopping bag. I will throw in a full body shots of these two items. They are quite cute. This is the first one. It's just a black tea because, you know, I'm like a tea-aholic. I'm a t-shirt-aholic, 100%, and usually all black. But this black tea, and I'll throw it throw it in on my body it's just got a cool studio printing gold Zara Fifth Avenue NYC so this um this was on sale I got it in size medium and it was on sale for $29.95 down from $50.59 so yeah that is that tea and it's just long enough and I'm really really comfortable in tea this next item is Bonza Honestly, when we were in Hong Kong, my husband got so many coats, not jackets, coats, long, beautiful coats, body length, floor length coats. And I was thinking, you know, we're going to summer in Australia, like I hate buying a season ahead, but he got beautiful coats. I didn't find anything I liked, but I always loved that whole, you know, Kim Kardashian tan. She has a, it's a Chloe. Is it Chloe or Celine? Uh, big jack uh, coat that she wears. Anyway, I've always loved that look. This is a full length camel tan luggage colored trench coat. I will be throwing in full body shots here. The details of this is just beautiful. And it was on sale. It has just a belt. There's no fastenings. It's just a belt to do it up. Um, the collar is just gorgeous. It has beautiful stitching in the back here, um, sort of quilted stitching look. It's got the back flap with the buttons there, and it is just so well made. At least Zara are making their stuff really, really nicely. Um, it's got beautiful piping on the inside, and it was on sale. So it came down from 200 to 130. So we loved that. <clears throat> Just in the middle here, I did want to show you guys some little Japanese lollies that I picked up. My mum and I saw that in the vlog. We went into a Japanese grocery store and picked up some goodies. These are charms and they're just hard candy. But look how cute the packaging is. We picked up some some funny faces I think these biscuits are and we picked up some lychee gummy candies and we will try them now for you because you know we gotta test we gotta test run the candies so cute they're in little packets ooh bag candy let's taste it first to know if it will go in my bag yum Oh, yeah. It's like a lychee martini. Yum. Some strawberry cones. So they're also like a hard candy. It's so happy and I just love it. And it reminds me of Hong Kong. So, so cute. Pick those up from the Japanese grocery store. So lastly in this haul are my two new items from Louis Vuitton. And 
and you've heard, you heard the first part of the story so they basically Bondo told me that I would be able to get this item at the George Street Maison so mum was like great I'll throw you out of the car and go and get it so I go in there the sales associate's name was Oliver shout out to him he was so cool and very very persistent because they didn't know where it was located they knew they had it it was showing up on the screen and it had been well Bondo said they put it on hold for me there but they couldn't find the reservation so and then when he was looking for the reservation they actually just showed that they did have the item but they couldn't find it in the store it was like so funny I was like do you usually lose items and he was like ah uh, sometimes like we can't locate where they are because the Maison's four floors so it's sometimes in menswear sometimes in women's wear sometimes in travel so anyway he couldn't locate it and he was running around everywhere so this is my unboxing of, here is the receipt, Louis Vuitton, there it is, and he eventually found it, and there was a shopping bag, here is the festive ribbon that everybody is showing, which is so happy and beautiful with the orange and pink, it is in a little drawer box there. And he's kept all the cards in here for me. Thanks, Oliver. He was really, really sweet. Uh, here we go. We have the uh, care cards. So the material cards, just cowhide, cowhide leather. And actually, the skew's on the front. Let's put it on the back. Here is the dust bag, and there is a skew on the back. He kept that on me, on it for you guys. And here it is from Handbag LVR. She got this and I saw it in her unboxing of her haul and I thought it was so cute. So it's the Dragon uh, strap. It's just simply a wristlet strap in Vaquetta leather, full Vaquetta leather with the hook there on the end. It has LV on one side and it has LV on the other side and it opens like a hook and you can attach it to obviously D-rings or keys or clays or things like that. This will patina like like no other and you know in life all I want is patina. Let's show you the intent for this item, finding my keys. These are my house keys and car keys on my clay, my monogram clay there. So we grab the little Dragon's um, strap and clip it onto the hook of the clay like so and then that way we can carry the keys that's super cute so if we throw them into our bag like this and they're not in the pocket in my speedy I can just fish around ding I mean, yeah, I do use my clay as well to find it, but this is going to sound way over the top. There's, there's a lot of clays in here, so I'm constantly going, my keys, and it's not my keys. So, fish around. Oh, I'm liking that. I'm liking it already. So, hooking it on, as I said, hooking it on to the clay closure, uh, clay's hook there. That is so cute. And what else can we use it for? Can we use it? Well, we could use it as a little wristlet as well for the pochette, the mini pochette. Hook that on. So that's hooked on there. And that's cute. Yeah. So then I said to Oliver, do you have stock of this item? I just want to see it. Uh, the Amperant collection in the new clay size. Uh, I've heard it's very beautiful, I've seen reviews on it, I've seen unboxings. Um, so I asked him if he had it and he said we only have it in noir, which is the black. So I said, well, can I see it anyway? So I did take a photo on Instagram, I'll show you here, uh, that I was looking at it in the black. I didn't really want another sort of dark colored, uh, small leather good. So I said, do you have it in cerise, which is the red? And he said, no, sorry, he said, no, we don't have it in Cerise, I'll look it up for you. The Rocks Boutique, which is right down near the Harbour Bridge and Opera House 
overlooking the Opera House of Sydney. So head down there, I'll put it on hold, they have one. And I was like, no way! So mum and I went there, which you saw in my blog, and ding! I will show you. So here is the shopping bag with Louis Vuitton written on the front. Here is the receipt. It has Louis Vuitton across the front. There it is. My proof of purchase. And here is another little festive box. And this one's actually really pretty and she put the card on it as well. So that was super pretty and festive so we liked that. She was actually very sweet at the Rocks Boutique as well. So opening that up, the draw box and inside she also left all the cards and here we have Louis Vuitton on the dust bag to reveal to you guys. Ta-da! This is my first ever piece of emperant leather. Emperant meaning imprint. So it is the imprint of the LV logos and the fleur-de-lis flowers and stars into full calfskin leather. It just smells unbelievable and I've heard many, you know, many of us in the the Tom group sort of rave about how beautiful it smells and it really does. It is so lovely if you do like the smell of leather. This is the little clay and honestly, I mean, it's the most I've ever paid for a clay. It's not cheap. The Emperant line is expensive. It's full leather. Uh, but if I was going to get anything, obviously, being queen of clays, I would get this. Um, and I knew I wanted it in cerise and a nice bright happy colour. So here it is, it's got the envelope style uh, uh, pocket with the button on the front, it's got Louis Vuitton written, uh, engraved around it. And that opens up. This has got Louis Vuitton Paris made in France stamped in gold under the button closure. And this front interior pocket is really, really quite spacious. I've seen some unboxings and they've said how spacious it was and I didn't know if it would be very spacious, but it really, really is quite big. It opens up really large because it's soft, because it's all leather, obviously. Down inside, she's left me all of the cards. Uh, this is the little booklet. So this is my first piece of emperant, that's fun. So it says monogram emperant and all of the care uh, you can have for the leather and how to treat it and keep it nice. So that was down inside. And then also down inside is the hook and chain. And this hook and chain is really, really pretty. So see the chain, it's got like longer loops and circular loops. So there is the beautiful clasp that you just pull and unhook, which you would all know to put your keys or anything else you want to attach onto it. It's got the LV logo on one side and it's got the LV logo on the other side. It is so shiny and new, it's just amazing, absolutely amazing. And then you have the added back zipper pouch with its own zipper pull which is that beautiful like key zipper pull with the Louis Vuitton engraved on one side and Louis Vuitton engraved on the other side and I feel like you just and then two leather tabs on the end with another rivet with Louis Vuitton engraved on both sides I feel like you just get so much on this piece obviously for the price of it but I feel like you get quite a lot for it so and that again is quite a generous uh, space down inside there these the tickets she kept them in there and here is the skew for you guys to see the model number um, so in the Amparant it is the cerise color and it is the clay in that collection so there is a textile card as well. She left me everything in here. They were both so sweet and great, great essays. So this is my first ever Amparant piece and I am so incredibly obsessed. I put out a post on Instagram saying I'm obsessed with Amparant because of my friend Bianca and just watching all of my Louis Vuitton girls on here that have Amparant, Nastasia, everybody who just has amazing, amazing pieces. And I knew I just wanted to start having a look at them. Maybe some pre-loved items because I love the colour Infinity, but I know it's discontinued. Um, it's just such a beautiful colour. I would get a bag in Infinity because it's a little bit darker and 
the blue is pretty and I would get use out of that color. So yes, that is the end of my video. I am now going to announce the winner of my Louis Vuitton giveaway for the monogram clay that I did. I have already contacted the winner, but to let you all know, the winner was a lovely girl by the name of Abri Sans Yusuf, I think was how I say her, her, her username. She was on Instagram as well. So congratulations to you, babe. And yes, that is the winner of my giveaway. I'm so happy to do giveaways. Happy New Year to everybody out there. I hope you had a great New Year's and it was a very fun and safe. And yeah, looking forward to lots more videos coming your way on my channel. If you enjoyed this haul, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already to my channel and you wish to do so, there is a button down here somewhere. I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Peace.